Hello everyone, my name is Mawson Yadav. I have completed my UG from JNK with Jabalpur and I have secured 13 rank in ISLGR of plant sciences and my score was 380. First of all, I would like to thank Hari Prasad sir and team Magdalene for providing me this opportunity to share my preparation strategy and all the books which I have referred during my preparation to all my juniors. Thank you for that. Talking about why I chose plant science as a major group. As I was a neat aspirant, my interest was on the genetic side. Also, during the first second year of my graduation, I have studied almost all the subjects of agriculture, but still my interest was on the genetic side. So I decided to do gen uh, masters from genetics and plant breeding. Also, I started my preparation during third year, so I think two year preparation are sufficient for getting a good rank in ISHGRF. Talking about all the books which I have referred uh, for genetics, I have referred genetics by BDC and uh, read it up to evolution part because after the evolution it's molecular part which will, which is very deeply given in genetics so for molecular part you can refer genetics made easy or and i have additionally uh, referred you some, some youtube channels like shomu's biology and bansal biology you can also refer that for object, for objective part i have referred bd singh and vk prasad it's a nice book you can refer it after reading a chapter from bd singh for plant breeding, I have referred plant breeding by V.D. Singh and also plant breeding by Fundan Singh. First, try to read Fundan Singh and complete it. After completing Fundan Singh, then refer to V.D. Singh for building concept. For objective part, I have referred V.D. Singh and V.K. Pusada of plant breeding. Some additional book you can refer are instant plant science and plant science at a glance. You can refer it during your... Uh, last days of preparation like during the division part because all the facts and one-liner things are given in these books so you can definitely buy this especially plants are at a glance by Ajit Kumar Singh in this fungal classification is very nicely given you can definitely refer this for fungal classifications uh, if you have completed your syllabus and you have time then only you can refer uh, key notes and of genetics and plant breeding by Venkat R. Prakash Reddy because uh, in this book, concepts are very nicely given, but only read it if your syllabus are completed. You don't need to buy the part. If you the basic book, you can refer is fungi, bacteria, and viruses by H.C. Dubey. But don't stick to only one source. Try to read examples and other data from TNAU, Angry Notes. And uh, also one more book I would refer is Sharma and Folkert. This book has definitely helped me because nowadays pattern of pathology has shifted toward the harder, harder side. So like in previous year questions are being asked from the tribe part and the pathology books, international books. So definitely for that you can refer Sharma and Polkar book. So I have also taken Manoj Patikasar's video lecture on Agri where he has completed the syllabus of plant pathology in uh, some 40-50 lectures uh, which covered almost all the important topics of plant pathology like fungal classification, fungal characteristics, all the symptoms, uh, disease of field and horticultural crop which is very important from exam point of view. You can also take that course and for uh, Objective part, you can refer plants as at a glance by Utkul Kumar Bhattacharya. Very, ni very nice questions are given in uh, Utkul Kumar Bhattacharya, you can refer there. For plant physiology and also for uh, biochemistry, uh, I would refer an Akash model. But other than that, you can also refer Silha and Pandey book. This book is also nice. But uh, you will cover almost whole syllabus from Alan and Akash module and also objective from that book. Uh, and don't try to skip it because definitely three four questions will be asked from the biochemistry and plant physiology part. For microbiology, you can refer to Tauro and Kapoor. Don't uh, read the full book. You can refer the first five and last five chapter. That is sufficient for microbiology part. For seed technology, I have read P K Grawal and R L Agrawal. Other than that, you can also refer Hari Prasad sir uh, video lecture in YouTube uh, on seed technology. He has very nicely explained all the seed legislation and certification and all the data and concept numericals that are related to uh, seed technology. So it will definitely help you. One uh, very nice objective book I would recommend you is uh, Objective Seed Science and Technology by Bananga Muli Kavita Raja. This book has really nice questions. You can definitely for this book for objective part. 
for general agriculture, I have referred Vinga Sunda and Arun Kataya. And uh, after reading chapters from these books, I have referred Arun Kataya, uh, SR Kantwa for the objective part. You, I would recommend you to read general agriculture at least one hour in a day. It will definitely help you uh, for your GRF as well as for your state exams and uh, CUET. Talking about all the difficulties I have faced during my preparation, uh, as I was very weak in assertion reason type question and my concept was not that clear, so I have referred the mock test series. Uh, try not to take only the uh, mock test from single source, try to take it from three four sources. Like I have taken mock tests from Regalia, Agri Edict, uh, Krashi, and Agri Toppers Academy. So you can also refer, uh, it will definitely let you aware with all the types of questions that are being asked in the exams. So also I have contacted the top rankers of, of the mock test and we made a discussion group and uh, on alternate days we decide a topic and ask each other questions and discuss the questions. It will definitely help you. Don't uh, take them as a source of information, not as a competitor because uh, you will get to you will get to clear all your concepts through, through it. Uh, one more thing and major thing that helped me during my preparation was making a proper timetable. Like what I used to do is uh, just because you like genetics doesn't mean you need to study genetics the whole day. You try to cover whole syllabus in a day, at least one chapter. Like you can uh, do one chapter of genetics, one chapter of reading. So you can uh, try to learn the pathology examples and see technology data. And uh, at the end of the day, you can uh, uh, do all the mock tests you, which you have taken. So it will definitely help you and try to be consistent, consistent with that. Uh, during the last days of your uh, exam, you, you all you need to do is revision because uh, there is no shortcut for revision. So just like our previous batch, Aggredict has launched its Plant Science Master Course 2024, which include daily live interactive session of all the subjects, daily mock tests, daily discussions on all the mock tests and PYQs. Along with that, they also take numerical solving sessions and provide handwritten notes. All these at a very reasonable price. I would like to advise all my juniors to take this course and you could be the next All India Ranker. Uh, I would like to thank Hari Prasad sir and the team IDAD for uh, motivating me and supporting me throughout my preparation. They have helped me and they have cleared all my concepts and now whatever which I asked. So thank you for that. I would like to thank all my family and all my friends who have helped me and motivated me during my preparation. Uh, all the best to all the future aspirants. Thank you so much.